Thank you for Patreon now for donating to the Patreon. Hey guys, it's Vaniazel, back in another Pokemon Sword and Shield video. If you guys enjoy, don't to like, comment, subscribe, and turn the page. Let's get started. Uh, I'll go ahead and read Hop's dialogue first. So, out with it, Azul. How many did you catch? I got a really special one. And you caught yourself? Oh, just one? Looks like we're out of draw. Though we are rivals and all, so that's not fair. Uh, okay, we get Swift. A star shaped race, fire at the opponent. That's a tactical machine. A TM, mate? What is the TM like that? You can teach your Pokemon a new move in a flash. And you can use them again and again, too. That one can teach the move swift. Let me give. Let Lee give it to me ages ago. And now it's yours. The gym challenge will begin in Motor Stroke City. And our training. Ah, our train's waiting. So let's keep going. No, hop, hop. I don't want to go. Hop. Okay. Okay. Anyways, back to what I was saying. In the last one, we did an endorsement battle with Hop to see if Leon would endorse us to become, um participants in the gym challenge, and he did endorse us, and that is evidenced by this endorsement letter I want to say I have in my back. No, I don't want to use that. But the endorsement letter, yeah, right here. Rec letter of recommendation you need to get a participation in the gym challenge. And we got a Dynamax ban and a Wishing Star, which will basically allow us to Dynamax our Pokemon during the gym challenge. Despite the fact that we don't know what that is. And we've got some new moves in Swift and Payback. I have not played this in a while. Order by number. Who can learn Swift? Uh, I'll give it to Bolt, because it could be useful on him, and I'll give it to Guzma, because I know Guzma will not evolve for a hot while, and I really need him to be useful on this team. So Guzma's gonna get Swift, but Payback, because Guzma's also a dark type here, or the Zigzagoon. So, yep, it can learn it, and it will have Stab, so preemptively I'm gonna put this on it. I think I might learn it at a later level, but until that's proven otherwise, I don't care. I should have gotten rid of Lear. I don't know why I didn't, but it's fine. He gets got payback now. And our other items, no, I don't want to use that. We have a Repel, which I'm never going to use. We have 10 berries of each, which I may or may not have wasted my money on. Pokeball, Great Ball, Potion, Paralyze Heal, and Revive. Now, there's one last thing I want to do before we go onto the train and head for Motor Stroke City, because there's something big coming up this episode, which is I need items. And I can't buy items, or new items of Pokeball variety, so I give up on that endeavor. So instead, we're just going to go straight to the train, because I completely forgot that I cannot do what I was trying to do yet. So... All the way we go into Moto Stroke, or into the train station. Not so, not quite so fast, you two. Where, what are you doing here, Mom? I knew this day was coming since the moment you ch chose Grokey as your partner, darling. Professor Magnolia was kind enough to let us know that you two were setting out. So here, a last little gift to see you well set on your way. All the kit you'll need for camping. So, now we have camping gear. Okay, that's new in a Pokemon world, but you know, that makes sense, considering in the anime they camp all the time, and we've never been able to camp in a Pokemon game before, despite the fact that it logically would be a thing, so now we have camping gear. That's interesting. Everything you'll need to set up a tent and get cooking in the wild area, or a camping spot. What is the wild area? I wonder. In spite of that's the title of this video, no matter what happens out there, if you and your po partner are together, I know you'll be fine. Thanks, Mom. And just to think how lucky you are, mother to the first ever pair of champion brothers, because I'm certain to be the champion next. You'll see. Of course you will, bar nah, of course you will, darling. Anyway, do, do you have fun and take care of yourself? I can't talk today. And you'll be, you'll, ah, you'll welcome, you'll be welcome back anytime. And we're off! Yes, please, for love of God, I can't talk today, so I'm, we're all gonna die. Which is luck. Not that we'll need it. Uh, I might, because I can't talk, so I might not be able to give correct, uh, uh, I won't be able to give correct rule. I won't be able to give correct commands to my Pokemon. I literally cannot talk today. There are loads of brilliant trainers and all kinds of Pokemon out there waiting for us. My excitement is running ahead of me even faster than the train can go, as well. Come on, we're off! And here's the funny thing. This is gonna enter a 3D automated cutscene, right? Yes, I'm not wrong. Please tell me I'm right. Because I, I remember this scene. Yes. I love these scenes from Pokemon Sun and Moon. They were so amazing. And now we got them back here. Motorstruck is surrounded by a vast wild area. And, well, we're learning something about the wild area now. It's a real sight. There are all sorts of wild Pokemon just wandering about everywhere you look. That is true. Plus, you can camp out, do a spot of fishing. I don't think I could ever get tired of it. Uh, I could. It, it, it definitely gets draining after a while. Oh, he has a blue Rotom phone, actually. That's interesting. We have a red, he has a blue. Fair, fair, fair. 
Hey, Mr. Station Master, isn't this the wild area? What were we supposed to stop here for? Yes, this is the wild area station, make no mistake. I'm sorry to tell you that the train is halted due to a flock of Wooloo on the tracks. What? That's there, what's there to be sorry about? This is brilliant! I mean, I see the Wooloo right there, and I think the Wooloo's are attacking us, but, uh, brilliant. This wild area is massive! There are loads of Pokemon here! You get it, don't you, Ezel? This is the best possible place to put together the greatest team! Uh-huh. Well, he's not wrong, so... Hey, have you have an Eevee? No, um... So I'm not gonna actually talk to a lot of these people, and here's why. If... Okay, well, she gives us five Pokedolls. But because this guy's a shop master, fuck, move, stop, stop talking. Okay, I get the point. This guy's a shop master, but that's not important. If we head out here, find your way through the wild area to reach Motive Stroke next. And today we are exploring the vast and very long, but really cool looking wild area. I really hope my camera got to render that properly because that's going to be the thumbnail of the video. I love this music too. It's so peaceful, so serene, yet so epic for such a big area. I did not mean to do that. So we got some boxes over here. Person I can talk to. Hi there, would you like to let your Pokemon rest? So no, but we got a healer here, which is really nice that we can heal our Pokemon from up here. And let's talk to Hal. Hop. Eh. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. What's that dark spiral thing? I see two pillars of light and one of them has a dark spiral on it. That's Modestroke. Way, way off that way. And between there and here are countless new Pokemon waiting to be met. Oh, hello. And if it isn't Sonya. My grand gave me a proper earful in her own way. Those two young trainers are setting out on a journey. But what are you going to do with your life? Uh, sounds kind of rough. That kind of sounds a bit rude, honestly. Uh, never mind that. Nothing to worry yourselves over. Besides, I've been... I'd have been quite curious about that Pokemon you two met in the forest. Same here! None of our effects had anything on it. It's not like we were... It may be a ghost type, because uh, we were using normal type moves against it, but I don't know. I've been thinking about... I uh, should look into it. So the timing works out fine. If I discover something really huge, then maybe Grand will even admit that I've got some talent. Yikes. Being an adult has got its own challenges, eh? I said you needn't worry about it. I'm glad to be on the road. Really, it's been ages. It would be great fun to fish and camp and rough it out outside again. Well, I'm off to go stick my head in as many of these red glowing dead as I can. I'm gonna battle and snout all out a bunch of Dynamax Pokemon and fill in another page in the Tale of My Legend. Hop, okay, we get the point. You're a Tale of Legend. What cheek? Dynamax Pokemon are really on another level, you know. You better Dynamax your partner Pokemon, too, if you want to take on opponents that strong. You'll find spots here and there in the wild area. They'll emit a red beam of light. If you think you're up to it, check them out. There'll be Dynamax Pokemon lurking inside. So with that, how about I send you off with a little treat for me? A Pokemon po box link. Which basically allows us to use the Pokemon storage from literally anywhere. That's literally what it is. It's just the Pokemon storage from anywhere. What a Pokemon box link. Well, you'll be able to put, and I just literally explained it, so I'm not going to bother uh, going through that. So go wild catching as many Pokemon as you like and fill in some more of your Pokedex. The wild air is waiting for you. This is the start of your real adventure. So, I do like that that it uh, gives you the freedom to get your Pokemon out of your boxes so you don't have to go constantly travel back and forth between your Pokemon Center because it is sometimes a struggle when I'm trying to catch a Pokemon and I'm trying to evolve it quickly because then I have to run through the whole way again. But, okay, so first off, the rolling fields. Well, I'll explain the Pokemon link later, but, so, thing about these Pokemon, you could run up to them and catch them, but there's a chance they could be really high level and you won't be able to catch it, and here's a note. The large Pokemon you see wandering around in the wild area are strong. If you try battling one of them it, and it runs over and runs overhead, try to run, run in the wind, or run like the wind. Yeah, if that thing tries fighting us, we are so fucked. But um, grab berries here. Cooking at your camp can restore HP to your Pokemon, and even the PP they used in their moves over and over. Pokemon that have fainted and can't battle any longer will perk right up as well as a piping hot plate of curry before them. Visit berry trees to collect berries so you can always make more curries. Yeah, that's why, I, okay, I heard something move in the background. Oh, I see a Vanillix right there. But I do like this route area. It's really well designed. There are many areas I'm not going to keep going, because if you keep going and a Pokemon pops out of that tree, you lose all your berries. But... Wait, no, I did not mean to do, I did not mean to do that. Anyways, Dynamax thing. So, Pokemon Dens. The, bil the pillars of red light you'll see in the wild area mark Pokemon Dens. Dynamax Pokemon dwell in these dens and you'll be able to battle them by investigating the den. You start the you start the battle on your own or get up to three other players to help you out. Uh, well, okay, so we got energy. 
and Mac Free Battles. Defeat a Dynamax Pokemon, you'll get the chance of catching it. Additionally, there are some rare items that you can only obtain by battling Dynamax Pokemon. When one Pokemon Dynamax, they become more incredibly powerful. They may unleash old multiple moves in a row and take other actions you won't see in a regular battle. Make, working together with other trainers will be key as you take on these Dynamax Pokemon together as a team of four. So, uh, you can choose to invite regular people, but I'm not going to invite regular people because uh, I'm trying to record this live. So, instead we're going to invite others randomly and start out a Dynamax battle. With a Dynamax Bunnelby, which basically means it's bigger, has more health, and has this. Now, to discuss Dynamaxing, this will be our first hint of Dynamaxing, as, um, do I use it now? Well, it's already there, Dynamax Knuckle. So by clicking the Dynamax, you'll know when you'll be able to Dynamax, because that happens with your uh, wristband. So to Dynamax, hit the Dynamax button on your Pokemon, and you'll get a certain array of moves like Mega, uh, like Mega Evolution does. It'll make your moves stronger, or actually no, Z-move basically is what it is. And then you throw your Pokemon up there. Its health increases. You see, we're at 46. I mean, 36. Now we're at 54. Your health increases. Your attack power increases. And a, a lot of stats increase. But he's going for Max Strike, a Max, a, a Dynamax normal type move. And typically, um, Dynamax moves have special effects that activate, or that activate once the attack hits. For example, the speed of other Pokemon fell. That happens whenever uh, Max Strike hits. As for Max Knuckle, I believe that raises your team's attack power. Yes, it does. So now for little details on these things. When you do Dynamax battles, if you go in with, um, you always have to do it with a team, but I have not heard of Fire Lash before, but <laughs> if you do it with a team, you take turns and you attack into the Dynamax Pokemon, at the end of it, you have a chance to catch it once you bring its health to zero. It's not like you catch it beforehand, you have to bring its health to zero, which is a fine addition. Go Max Knuckle. Um, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Okay, he can nullify stat changes apparently. Oh no, not Max Quake. Oh god, no 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 not the axle, not the axle, not the axle. Okay, well I'm out of this match. Uh you can't switch your Pokemon in a Dynamax battle. The one you pick at the start is the one you're stuck with. And if your Pokemon faint four more times or goes on for a certain amount of time for turns, you can no longer catch the Dynamax Pokemon. But on to my thing about the wild area. Wild area is well good design. Like they have multiple different areas. I will just chant and tear on my team. I do like that though, the little animations they give your team members. And it apparently can heal your teammates somehow. But the wild area is amazing. It's got some nice designs. I like the snow area we're in currently and I kind of don't want to leave it, but I'm going to have to for the sake of story progression. But at the same time, the thing I hate about it the most is the fact that it's unbelievably long and it takes forever to do something in. Like, oh yeah, one last thing, this. So after two turns, your Pokemon can recover from fainting. That is something I should have said earlier. I don't know why I didn't. You can't Dynamax again, so I won't go for Ember like I should have gone for earlier, but I will, he's gonna go for me again. Okay, well thankfully it didn't do anything but just lower my accuracy, but a uh, double kick should kill it. Yeah, it killed it. So, on to what happens when you kill a Dynamax Pokemon. It explodes, Bundle B is weak, throw a Pokemon out. We could choose not to catch it or to catch it, but I'm gonna go for that catch. Go! Extreme Dynamax Pokeball! You do the big catch, you throw the ball at it, it absorbs the big Pokemon, and then it shakes. One shake. Two shake. Three shake. And it shrinks, and you catch. That's simple. You get your uh, Bunnelby, or you get whatever Dynamax Pokemon you're trying to catch. Very easy. Oh, I forgot to read through the rewards, but yeah. You don't get experience from doing those, but you get things called experience candies, which basically give experience, and they can give a lot depending on when you do it. In fact, I think I may have just gotten enough to level up Axel to where he could evolve if I really wanted to. How much, what did I get exactly from that? Oh, yep, I could extra small mm, Dynamax candy increases the... Basically, whenever a Pokemon is Dynamax, it will increase its uh, HP level. Rare candy. I think I could actually evolve Axel or barely not evolve him with that. But we also got an attack move from this called Tri-Attack. Basically, TRs are 
like the old TMs where they are one use and that's it, so they break. Try attack if you don't know was a really good attack. It could be the fire, ice, or something else. Why do I keep instinctively doing that? Um, I could try to get more poke. Okay, not even gonna try it because if they have Overwatch sprites like this, typically they're higher leveled, and that thing is a ground type, and I'm not fucking with that when the first Pokemon in my team is a fire type. But I will run through the grass, and I found another note without even... Yeah, if you use the right stick, you can, um, look... If, if you use the right stick, turn your camera, use left stick, look straight ahead. There's a Pokemon I'm trying to find. Where is it? You know, whatever wants to come to me, comes to me. Okay, that's a Metapod. I don't want the Metapod. I want this, though. No, yes, Vanillax, Vanillax, Vanillax. I want the Vanillax, or Vanillite. I have never used an Ice type. No, not never used an Ice type before. I have not used an Ice type in this game, and... Respect the fact I already have my full, well not full team, I think there's still some members missing, but I'm mostly satisfied with this team now. Quick Attack. Quick Attack didn't kill it actually, huh? But, um, mm. yeah, I, I still don't know basically. What, what was I going on about? I don't remember anymore. Point is, I like the way Wild Area is designed. We just got a little spoil of what Dynamax is. Pretend you didn't see anything, despite the fact I might do it a few more times before we hit Motive Group, because Technically speaking, I don't think you're supposed to Dynamax up until this point. I mean, at this point, I think you're supposed to wait, but, uh... They give you a weapon, and then they're telling you not to use it. We all know that when you tell a kid not to do something, they're just gonna want to do it more. Like, come on, people. You should know this by now, that we don't listen to you. So, yeah, I'm just gonna kind of catch that. We do get some experience for catching it regularly. You can't get experience in the water. It's just that when you do Dynamax battles, you will not get experience. Unless, you know, they are in, um, unless they are in, the uh, gym challenges, because gym challenges do have the, um, nope, not even, nope. There's no way in hell that a Pokemon of that level is gonna, because it evolves at level 22, I'm not taking, actually I could. Because if I killed it, it would get some massive experience. And I do have a revive on me. I see a bunch of Panchams. I see, oh, you. Oh, don't even with this. I'm being tempted by the god. Where to go? There it is. Get your ass over here. I love Tyro. Okay, let's try to catch this thing. Because if I can catch this. Oh god, it's gonna be dip. And it has a critical charger on it too. Okay, not that much damage. If I take another hit like that though, I'm definitely dead. So do I risk it on the Great Ball? I'm gonna risk it on that Great Ball. Let's see. Go Great Ball. Yes! Okay, cool. I'm never gonna use this thing. I just wanted to catch it for the sake of catching it, but we caught it, which is nice. Uh, anyone level up? Guzma got a level up, that's good. And Robin almost leveled up, I think. Okay, cool, so we got Tyrogue. That's nice. And I've decided that instead of just doing the aimless wandering... Oh, I remember my point from earlier. But anyways, instead of just doing aimless wandering, and then catching literally everything I see, because if I did, I would... Oh my god, I want to catch more Pokemon. Every time I open my mouth and tell myself I'm not going to do something, there every, there every reason for me to do something pops up. But pretty much, instead of just... I, and instinctively, I keep hitting that. I don't know why. Anyways, instead of just um, wandering... Are you kidding me? My... One of my favorite birds just flew overhead. You're making it really hard to ignore a game. But what I was trying to say before the game keeps trying to bait me, okay, just gonna avoid you, is that instead of constantly catching everything in the wild area and just making this a 40 minute episode, I'm just gonna go to Moto Stroke and whatever I find in the way, I will catch one of each thing. Well, mm. Not because that would be what I'm doing anyways. I will check out that thing. I can't. It's in the middle of the ocean. Are you freaking kidding me? Uh, which way is closer? That one has more dens. This one has, I mean, technically, okay, this one has more dens, but those don't provide things. But this one has this guy. So let's talk to him. Now, to cook, you've come to the right place. I've got all the finest ingredients here. Basically, if you buy these, it'll make your um, curry that you make more interesting. And I'm not going to use this money for a hot minute. Yeah, because the next thing that I want to buy, if I remember correctly, isn't for a hot while. I think there's two things I'm going to show off here before I do anything with it. So get all these items. And okay, now let's go. I wish I could have an access to the bike already, but you don't get access to the bike. And I don't think I can run faster this way. So we're going average speed, but... 
I, I don't mind, actually. I, I do genuinely enjoy the spot area. It's really nicely designed. I think this was an amazing way for them to bring Pokemon to the Switch. I know they had uh, Let's Go before this, and I don't know if Let's Go was that good or not. I didn't really try it, but I do genuinely think if Let's Go wasn't like this, then Sword and Shield was the best first game that was a new region to the Switch, just because it applied for so many possibilities. I'm going to have to come back to this area to catch all these Pokemon, aren't I? But it provides so much newness. It provides a lot of things you evolve into a dragon type because i can literally tell what it is uh but i'm charging into it again with a fire type which for some reason i love doing to myself it is a trop pinch i remember on my previous team of the game i had a trop pinch i mean not trop pinch uh axiu we're getting ready to dynamax here I think this is the last thing I'm going to actively try catching that isn't a Dynamax Pokemon. So let's go Max Flare because I've learned my lesson. Even if it's not super effective, it's at least going to have type advantage. I mean, not type advantage, a stab. And if one of if the Mar Cactus person is back, which I don't think they are, um, it'll at least make their Solar Flare slightly stronger is what I'm going for. So Score Bunny, or sorry, Axel Blaze, if you please. Don't die. I see Bolt, so that's not going to do anything. I see a Halucha, though. That could be useful. We have Jonathan Swift over here. Oh, that's a Jolteon. Never mind. Feather Dance. Hyper Cutter. Attack won't get lowered. Max Flare. Burn it up a bit. God, that did so little, but A. Hey, Max Flare. Intense sunlight happens. So Water-type moves are going to do nothing, basically. I thought that was them using high school, uh, high risk power on us. Max Phantasm. Oh, sh well, there goes Halucha. That's not good. Okay, so... Sorry, Halucha. We're just gonna have to keep going from that. Max Storm is raging above us, so if three more Pokemon die, the max battle, the max battle on its own will end. But the topic I want to bring up earlier is the idea behind the Poke Box. I mean, the storage box. I like how they have incorporated the storage box into a permanent thing now. I really do, like, you can access it from wherever. My problem with it is, what reason is there to go to a Pokemon Center now, besides that depending on where you are, it might just be quicker to get to? Because in the camp, in the camps, you can literally heal your Pokemon on your own. Okay, that guy got his Halucha back really fast. But in the camps, you can just heal your Pokemon on your own via the, via the food. Oh, hey, Flying Press, one of my favorite moves. But you can just heal your Pokemon on your own. You can buy items to get to refill your um, pouch of things that you used for the curry that you made in the camps. And you can just train your Pokemon up there. So there's no real reason to go to cities now, besides if you just want to get clothing. Or like, uh, I guess, Pokeballs, because I think that's the only difference. But you can just go to the stations, because they arguably give you things. So like, that's what I hate about the box now. Now there's no real reason to go back to cities, because minus the um, Pokeball getting, that's why you stock up beforehand. So, it's a thing, but I I'm glad that they incorporated it anyways. Can I catch this so I can shove it on my team? Okay, I thought it wasn't going to catch for a second. Yeah, let's go. Okay, this time I will scroll through the rewards, because I didn't do it last time and I completely forgot. Okay, so we got Dynamax candies, uh, Honeydew Berry, Nugget, and Dragon Claw, and Experience candies. Hell yeah. And because this thing evolves into a Dragon type, um... Ah... Uh, I'ma call you... Should've thought of a name... I know I should've... Jaws doesn't fit it though. Uh, I'm, I'ma call you... No, where is it? Speedster. That's what your name is now. <laughs> Speedster. Not the best particularly, not the worst either. I could think of worse. Speedster. There we go. T-E-R. I feel like I spelled Speedster wrong. I wanted to add it to party. Is there a team member I want to get rid of? Yeah, Sean, I completely forgot. And just like that, minus Speedster over here, my actual final team is done. Not even joking. Like, this is the team we are sticking with for the rest of the game. Bolt the Boltun, minus, okay, obviously the evolutions. Axel, um, Guzma, I'm trying to think of what the other two were. Chewy, and Raven. Those are literally the Pokemon we are sticking with for the rest of the game. I want to head over there so badly, but it's literally in the middle of the ocean. Actually, it's not, is it? Oh god, I'm being chased, I'm being chased, I'm being chased, I'm being chased, I'm being chased. Okay, ignore the game, and then just do that. 
So the game can't interfere with me because I'm too busy shaking berries from a tree. I'll take my chances. Uh, I don't want to... No, I didn't mean to shake it more. Okay, well, I'm fine with shaking it more. So, I'm going to quit while I'm ahead, and I'm going to run before the Tyro gets me. Run, 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 run. Where to go, where to go, where to go. Okay, it's over there. Okay, um, as the Tyro chases me, which is another thing I love, the fact that Pokemon can chase you. Are you kidding me with all the Pokemon that I see? And it's an oddish of all things. Okay, I'm just killing this because I want some experience. I want Axel to evolve before the next gym, and I don't think he evolves till level 17. Or he might just evolve at level 16. In that case, I might be slightly overleveled, but it's fine. Ember. They're using growth. Of course they are. I don't want this episode to go on longer than 30 minutes. For the love of God, can this Oddish die quickly? Uh, Ember, please burn it. Burn it or like stab it to death. I don't care. Uh, Acid does... Wait, I'm sorry. What? Why does Acid have a fire animation? Wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm sorry. What? Why did it... Am I crazy or did, Ax or did Oddish just have a fire animation for Acid? Is that how it always is? I could swear that's never been the animation for Acid before. Okay, we got some level ups. Am I crazy? Am I right? And also, don't worry, I will come back and catch all these things. I'll get a bunch of things and we have notes. Oh, we have a fancy apple. Um, we have another fancy apple. Cool. Um, oh, it's all the way right there. Okay. Oh, God. Oh. I saw a Nuzleaf and I really want it, but once more, I don't want to just sit here for 40 minutes straight. Okay. No, I saw it that time. Okay, here's the plan. I will come back to this wild area, and I will explore literally everything in a separate episode. So, actually, no, yeah, that, that, that will be what I do. Uh-huh. You have caused me enough pain in my lifetime, I'm just gonna not... I'm just gonna pretend like that thing doesn't exist. So, yeah, you know, I, I think I have an idea. Every now and again, I will exp... Oh my god, I see a shifter. Yeah, we're not fucking taking that thing on. <laughs> not today. So, um... Okay, that's enough berry greeting for me. So, uh, I guess every now and again I'll just have an episode where I have a wild tree. I mean, not wild tree, a uh, wild area episode, and I will just run away from this thing. Oh, oh, no, 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 that was a horrible mistake, that was a horrible mistake, that was a horrible mistake. So yeah, I'll just come back to the wild area every now and again, get some Pokemon catches, etc. I have no idea when I would post them. It would probably be right after the other one, it would just be a filler episode, just to, um, be something easy I can make without having to voice act something, and just something I would get my opinion off my chest. So I'm not going to do this one. If I don't participate in it, will anything happen? Because there is one thing I want to do. Variant Psychotype. It's not something I want. I know I shouldn't turn it away. Oh, I, I can't go back. Why am I charging into the middle of these things? Okay. That's fine. We can come back to them later, as proposed by this game. I will not go to more trees. I did not mean to run into the thing. Oh, I encountered a very strong lurking goaler. Great, yeah, that makes me feel confident, because this thing is level 26. Nope, not even, not even, not even going to think about it. Just going to run away. I see a Drifloom that I'm not going to try to fight right now. I saw a Pokeball. I see a group of these things slowly walking towards me. That's a Ghost and Dragon. Aish! I know what our last team member is going to be. I know what our last team member is going to be. I know what our last team member is going to be. I know I said I wasn't going to do it, but I'm taking the detour now. <sighs> Fight me. No, I didn't mean to do that. No, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that. I, no, I didn't want to... Yes, ready for battle. Uh, yes, start battle. Okay, ghost dragon type. Oh, it's ghost poison. No, fuck. Oh, no. I read its type wrong. 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 Okay, I'll be back when I beat this thing. Okay, we caught the uh, the ghastly. It, to be fair though, it was very easy because literally we just had the three fire types on our team and uh, 
the first one, uh, Tor Tordo, I believe it was, literally had the drought ability, so all of our fire type moves got increased, and we just bombarded it with fire type moves on fire type moves. Oh, we are not fighting that thing. We are just going to walk around. <gasps> no! This is so. Oh, no, I bet. Oh my god, I have been cheated. The game literally heard me say that I wasn't going to catch anything and then proceeded to give me every Pokemon I want to catch. That's so cheap. I am so mad at this game right now. Okay. And this is our last little thing in this episode, and afterwards, we will have a small Wild Area Exploration episode, and then we will uh, continue Modestroke. So let's go ahead and do this. It's a shiny Bunnelby. Sure. For doing that, we got so many candies. Okay. So, unfortunately, that was a waste of a really cool-looking Dynamax thing. Wild Area Sloan with special spots of Watts, you can use them to buy stuff in shops, which is an important factor, which we will explore right now, as long as story doesn't get in the way. Who is the one that buys things? Uh, spend my Watts, yeah, so we can use them to get TRs like Dragon Dance, Ice Beam, Thunder, stuff like that, and Wishy Peas will basically attract Dynamax Pokemon. So, without further ado, I'm gonna end it here. In the next story-based episode, we will go to Mode of Strokes D, but in the actual next episode, we will be exploring the wild area, because there are a lot of things I want to catch. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, don't forget to Patreon, join us, code, follow Twitch, and I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to check us out.